Hello everybody, we're back with a new episode of Rare Engines. Today's episode, we are going to be focusing on Union Pacific 3391, which, uh, which wore a experimental livery back in the 80s. So with that, let's get into the video. To start off, the EMD SD4-2 began production in 1972. The improvements over the SD40 were new modular electrical components, being similar to what was on the EMD DDA40X. With the Union Pacific 3391 being built in the middle of the batch, of all the other SD40-2s, in a glorious year of 1977, for the Union Pacific, which it did many jobs, such as coal service, freight trains, and a little bit of switching service. It would do these jobs uh, well for many years until June 1984, when it was released from the paint sheds in a new experimental livery with yellow, black frames, trucks, and fuel tanks. It would not be in this paint scheme for long, however as it was quickly uh, repainted. Back into the standard yellow and gray for the Union Pacific paint scheme, which in my opinion is kind of boring. The reason it was painted into this experimental livery was to save money on Union Pacific. After it was painted black it, into its original livery, it would go on to do the jobs that it was assigned to across the UP system. Sadly, I don't think it, it's used anymore as the last photo taken of it was back in 2007 when it was hauling a local freight through California. If anyone has any information on where it is, please let me know in the comments. Even though this engine might not be around anymore, it's still uh, fascinating to uh, look back at what railroads were doing to save money way back when. Thank you all for watching this episode of Rare Engines. Even though this engine might not be around anymore, it's still fun to look back at a well-known locomotive class painted into a livery not well known to the general public. Even though it wasn't painted in this livery for that long, it still served the UP system well, and was pretty good at it while doing it, like every other SD40-2. Be sure to come back next time when we discuss the CN Smurfs. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, please like, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.